Well, it is an explosion of holiday sight and sound. The 31st annual Festival of Lights Auto Tour opens this Friday inside the campgrounds at Wapapello Lake. There's free admission this year as it has been every year since it started. And joining us now is Andrew Jefferson with Wapapello Lake U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Macy. Appreciate the invite. Yeah, I'm very excited. So this is the 31st annual event. How did how did this all get started? This guy started exactly 31 years ago, except uh, we partnered with the Wapapello Lions Club at the time. Okay. Uh, the Lions Club uh, were very supportive of the lake and events that we have at the lake. So um, we decided to decorate the campground by having campers to come in to decorate. It went over pretty good and then the event began to grow. So we had to move from the west side over to the east side campground. And once we moved to the east side campground, then a new association, the Lake Wapapello um, Association was formed and uh, they've been helping us ever since. So it's a big event and it's also done in partnership with the um, River Radio pro by providing our Christmas music. Okay, so now we're on the east side, is that right? No, we're back to the west, the side. west side. Yeah, <laughs> we're back to the west side. We're going back to our grassroots, but it's only because there's renovations taking place on the east side. Right. But uh, there'll still be plenty of lights uh, for folks to come out and see and decorations. Plus, uh, there'll be uh, prizes given away for the um, People's Choice Awards for the best decorated sites. The event runs from 5 to 9 p.m. each night that it's open. For the first two weekends, it's open Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. And starting the 14th of uh, December, it will be open nightly up until Christmas. And there will be special appearances also by uh, Santa on the 8th, the 14th, and the 16th. That is so awesome. I'm so excited about Santa Claus. That is that is a, such a cool thing. So the community actually partakes in this. You kind yes. of went to that earlier. Kind of talk about what all they're able to do. Yes, what the community does, uh, the businesses and different organizations and even uh, families, they come out and they decorate a campsite with Christmas lights or ornaments or nativity scenes. Um, once they put their uh, displays out uh, for folks to look at, they do not have to come back out and maintain them. We do that, we take care of that, unless it's something major. But um, the public get an opportunity to drive through, and they actually uh, get an opportunity to vote for the site they feel is uh, the best decorated. And there are first, second, and third place prizes, of which the uh, Lake Association provides. Um, it's good competition, good fun competition. Uh, Santa will be there as well, like we said earlier, on the 8th, the 14th, and 16th. Uh, if you want to drive through two or three times, you're more than welcome to do so. So it's not like a one-stop shop and that's it. If you want to come back the next day or even if you drive through one time and you didn't really see all that you thought that you wanted to see, you can drive back again a second or third time. But it's a good event, family-oriented, and we're excited about it. And so it is free. How is it able to be free? Well, it's free because uh, whenever the Corps of Engineer, U.S. Army Corps of Engineer, puts on an event, we do not charge for the event. And with the Lake Association being a non-for-profit organization, such as the Lions Club was a non-for-profit organization, they're able to work together and not charge the public anything for coming through. Now, although we don't charge, the um, Lake Association does accept donations. And every dollar that uh, they receive is put back into the event or is put into other events like the fireworks, which cost around $11,000 to put that particular show on. Plus we have interpretive programs at the visitor center, which the Lake Association uh, helps to fund for those. And also the um, ski team, Lake St. Louis Professional Ski Team. They come down each, each year during the month of uh, August and the association pays for them coming down. Okay, awesome. So much excitement starting this Friday, is that yes, right? Yes, this Friday, day after, this Friday, day after Thanksgiving. So if you're sitting at home getting full on turkey and ham and all that other good stuff, you can come on out, yeah. decorate your site, and work it off. Yeah, just consider driving on over. And Aaron, I really hope the weather is looking good for that Friday then. Oh.